Hey guys, Pastor Kyle here. I hope you're off to a good start on your New Year goals and that you're continuing to make the most of this challenging season of life that we're all dealing with. I'll get straight to it. I have some bummer news. We've made the tough decision to push pause on our in-person Sunday morning outdoor services for a bit. That means effective this upcoming Sunday, January 10th, City Church is going online only again. In saying this, I need to eat my words because I committed in October that we wouldn't do this and here we are moving online again. You know, hindsight being 2020, that's kind of an especially ironic choice of words here given this instance, but hindsight being 2020, I shouldn't have committed that and I apologize for making a commitment that I'm now walking back. Frankly, I didn't anticipate that COVID would become as bad as it is today. I mean, did any of you? Like, I figured that the quick lockdown measures would drive the cases down and we'd be back inside the sanctuary in no time. And I was wrong, and so I'm sorry. Let me unpack for you why we're doing what we're doing. First and foremost, we're moving our services back online because we care about the health and safety of our community here at City Church and the community at large. Guys, you don't have to go far to realize that COVID is wreaking havoc on the world, but it's crushing Southern California. Hospitals are being overrun, beds are scarce, ICUs are full, ambulances are waiting hours to offload critically ill patients, oxygen is even being rationed in some cases, as is care, and in extreme instances, folks are being sent home to suffer and even die. To top it all off, doctors and nurses are overworked, exhausted, and managing unsustainable patient caseloads. Specifically, LA and Orange County are among the worst hotspots in the country, and Anaheim is under a severe surge, and the zip code of the church in particular is the second worst hit in all of the county. You know, if somebody contracts COVID right now, there simply isn't adequate medical care to help them. I firmly believe our safety protocols at our services have been working. That being said, this disease is proving to be so infectious that folks following everything properly are still coming down with it. So what we're doing is we're moving our services back online for a bit because we care about our church, we care about the community at large, and we care about you. Secondly, we're doing this so that our staff can continue to effectively lead the church. We're a small team here at City Church and we will soon have one staff member who is going on maternity leave. And so the potential of a COVID outbreak amongst our team would greatly hinder our ability to continue to lead this church during the pandemic. Now let me get to the good news. God willing, we do not believe this will be anywhere near the length of time that it was the last time. Now, I don't wanna put a hard number on it, but in my mind, we're thinking somewhere in the four to eight week realm, maybe a little bit more if it just really continues to be ugly. So we wanna thank you for being an awesome church and for continuing to seek God with all your heart. Uh, We're gonna get through this. The shot of hope is on the way. And so let's all pray for some respite and some mercy from the Lord upon our situation and and upon the whole world. So we'll see you online this Sunday and expect an email from me as well as you'll see stuff on social media as well. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.